Hi, everybody, and welcome to today's Daily Word of Encouragement. I'm Bill, and this is Rhonda Hastings, my beautiful wife. And today, we want to ask you another question. Last time we asked, where are you? And today, we're going to ask, are you satisfied? And looking a bit deeper into that question, you know, do the things that you do bring you lasting satisfaction and contentment, or are they just merely momentary pleasures? Can you expand on that? Bill and I have been thinking a lot about choices we've made that have led us to this point in our life, and we realized that frequently we were making choices that brought Mm -hmm. momentary pleasure, but when the action was over, that pleasure evaporated and there was nothing lasting that was left. And so as we've looked at our lives Mm -hmm. and looked at our choices, we've decided that we want more. Mm -hmm. We've decided that God has more for us than that. So we've been making changes so that we can find lasting satisfaction Mm -hmm. rather than just simply momentary pleasure. Absolutely. You know, and looking at momentary pleasures, why do, why do we even seek those? You know, a lot of times it's out of just sheer boredom. Uh, we don't have anything to do. We're flipping through the channels. We're never satisfied with a, the 200 to 300 channels we have. Mm-hmm. You know, and it can be stress brought a, about by the, you know, what's going on today. And you guys are well aware that it's a stressful time, especially last year. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, and, and it can be, you know, something that we're searching for to fill that emptiness that we feel inside. Mm. We, we find ourselves mm. wanting, for whatever reason, uh, when something triggers us, we want to uh, feel some pleasure. And so we will engage in an activity for... For some of us, like for me, it was eating some food, or for some people it's going shopping. For others, it might be uh, some sort of a a substance that they take. But for a moment, the Mm -hmm. neurons fire in the pleasure center in our brain, feels satisfied, it feels a pleasure. But as soon as that activity ends, you know, as soon as the ice cream sundae is gone, that pleasure evaporates. And what we're left with is a little bit of guilt, Mm. sometimes a lot of shame, Mm -hmm. maybe disappointment. Mm. But we've we've settled for less than God's Mm. best for us. And I don't want to do that anymore. Mm. I want to reach for lasting satisfaction, not momentary pleasure. Yeah, you know, when, when Rhonda said, you know, those neurons are exploding in our brain. I could, you know, I could just see that because I love to shop for anything electronic, anything <laughs> high tech. You know, I'm there, uh-huh. you know, so it's not just women shopping for clothes. You know, that's pretty sexist. Isn't it? Yeah. Men like to shop, too. So I understand. But and for just a, a little moment in time, for maybe a few days to a week, I'm feeling really up. But after a while... You know, it comes back. Mm. You know, it's just a momentary thing. So, really, when you look at what gives lasting satisfaction in our lives, I, I think that the only thing that we can turn to is our relationship with God and our relationship with one another. You know, and in Him, we can find that satisfaction that we've always hoped for and yearned for. What do you think about that? I, I agree. And I just want to share Isaiah 58, 11. I just love this verse. It says, And the Lord will continually guide you and satisfy your desire in scorched places and give strength to your bones, and you will be like a well-watered garden. Mm. That word for satisfy it means to have until you want no more. You know, yes. not, not just to momentarily satisfy an appetite, not to just momentarily fire those neurons that bring a little <laughs> bit of pleasure. But God says, 
even in the most scorched and dry places, he will come alongside of you and he will pour himself into you so that you find right. lasting, yeah. lasting satisfaction. That's what I want. Yes. yes. So it really, it's really, it's a filling, right? Mm -hmm. It's an infilling yes. within each of us. And then all of a sudden we say, oh, no. So that's what it's like to be content, mm. to be satisfied. And all of a sudden you start feeling, you know, in peace. Mm. You know, there's peace in your life once again. I think that's beautiful, babies. I, I really do. And I think that um, the more I seek Him and the more I really search uh, in depth into who He is, and who I am in Him, I start to see that, you know, it's the little things that satisfy me. It's the relationships. It's the nice sunny day, you know, and the spring flowers are coming out. I could be satisfied with, you know, just waking up to a new day where He gives me breath in my body and um, a beautiful wife to share it with. You know. <laughs> I, I want a piece of technology, so I, I'm kind of buttering her in that. Don't go there. Yeah. So anyway, um, I hope you've enjoyed today's daily word of encouragement. And I, I just want to end today telling you that God wants so much more for you than you want for yourself. He wants to meet you at the deepest places, at the roughest times. And He wants to bring you that lasting lasting satisfaction. God bless you. God bless Have a you good guys. Day. Have a good day.